planning on making a little figure of a man and I just want to show you roughly the kind of process I go through when sketching out a sort of pose I try to do all the joints and stuff I find that helps so now I can bulk him out a little bit and then afterwards I've got a little design which I can then trace onto a piece of wood and cut out on the bandsaw before I start carving it then I can get my piece of wood and my trusty carbon paper to put on top then I can just draw the rough outline of the piece on the wood and we're ready to take it to the bandsaw and just like that we have a great start to a little figure carving. I can highlight the other areas that I definitely want to cut off with a red pen and I'm going to avoid marking this middle section here I'm going to keep that there because there's hands and stuff that stick out so I'm going to leave that. Now because I've cut stuff off from the side of this when I put it through the bandsaw it's going to just want to go down like this which is going to mess up the cuts so I'm going to tape a bit of wood to the bottom of it so that it's level when I push it through. So after a bit of messing around we end up with something like that. And I'm going to use a Mora 120 knife for most of the carving on this one. I'm going to start with the head because once I've got the size of that I can determine the rest of the body size. So I'm sort of trying to start on the nose now, and it's a very tiny nose. And I just want it to stick out further than the rest of the head, so I'm just going to come up with my knife and just do little cuts here. So now you can see the beard is all shaped, we've got a kind of nose and eyes and whenever the crown is. And uh, I'm going to move on to the shoulders. Okay, so now with the head size figured out and the shoulders somewhat figured out as well, I've been able to make out where the arms are going to go and then highlight all the areas I can cut away safely. I'm going to start with some little kind of V cuts under this arm. I have this little knife chisel thing that helps me put lines into places. And then I can turn it the other way around and scoop areas out. The last bit I've got to do for the moment is just to take away this sort of angle here. And I'm going to do that by first putting a line on this bit. I'm going to use the knife to take bits of that away. I'm just going to come in with this little chisel again and keep cutting away bit by bit. Obviously, if you're going to do this yourself, be very careful of your hands. So now with that bit cut, after I clean up the hands and make them the right size, I can move on to the lower half. So now I'm going to work my way down to the legs. And I've got them kind of planned out. This leg is the one that supports the weight, which is why it's kind of straight and firm on the ground. But this one's kind of more like a posing leg, so it sort of bends forward. So Once again, we'll do that with some sort of V cuts another type of cut which I don't think I've shown yet that I do a lot in tight situations is to kind of first push down on that with this thumb and then use this thumb to help you pull the blade so to make this gap between the legs I'm just going to use a drill course that hasn't done all the work but it's helped me a lot in finding where the center line is and so now I can come in with a, a little gouge or, or with a knife in here eventually you'll work your way through and probably make a really rough looking gap through there and then uh, you can start planning legs in a bit more detail 
So now it's time to start adding some detail and cleaning the whole thing up. I'm going to start with these little straps on the legs. Now I'm going to do some cuts that make it look like his trousers are kind of bunching up. Now I'm going to try and do a couple of sort of creases up this part. Now a little cap on the bottom of the sword sheath. A little crease in the corners of the arms. And I've got this round medallion part to do. I'm just going to hold it against the bench for that and use this gouge to get a nice round shape. Round it over a little bit. Now we have some little creases to add in this sort of cloak thing that he's got on. And now let's work a little bit on the crown. And I already made his little spear off camera. So now I have a lot of cleaning up and stuff to do before I get on to the dyeing stage. So uh, that will be the next video, the colouring. Now to colour this guy, I'm going to try something new I haven't done before. And that is, I'm going to use this stain tester kit from Furniture Clinic. I'm going to start by painting the skin with this white ash colour. I'm going to use antique pine to colour some of the lighter and gold type parts. I'm going to use dark oak for the hair and the beard. I'm going to use teak for his kind of cloak thing. I'm going to use teak on the boots as well. Antique pine. I'm going to use natural oak for his trousers. And the same for the spear handle. Rosewood for the sword sheath. And dark oak again for the straps on his boots. I'm going to add some boiled linseed oil to it. And here's how it looks finished with the dye and the oil.